Okay, here we are set up, and you can see I've got this ground rod. I've got a uh, wire going from the ground rod going to a transformer. Now this one's just the oil transformer, and uh, I've run one lead here to the ground rod. The other lead here is going to an insulated wire that is going back to another ground rod about 150 or 200 feet away. Okay, what we want to find out here is if I energize this, will it transfer power one side going through the wire, the other side going through ground? So, let's go ahead and uh, I'll plug this thing in and we'll go inside where the other ground rod is located and we'll see if we can get a spark out of this. Okay, here you can see this is the other end of that line. Here is my uh, bonding wire going to the ground rod and here is my conductor uh, for the other side of the line. Well, let's see if there's any power pass through here. We're going to do this with a spark because it is a 10,000 volt uh, transformer. I don't have a high voltage meter, so I'm not even going to. I'm not going to try to destroy one of my good meters. So, okay, if we go here and you look, you'll have to look pretty close here. Okay, you can see I do get a spark there. Uh, it looks like it's about, you know, compared to the normal spark on these things, this is probably more like 8 or 900 or 1000 volts. Uh, so let's go out to the transformer again with this. Uh, as an open circuit, there's no continuity there. And let's see what kind of spark we get out there. Okay, here we're back out at the uh, transformer. We're going to see what kind of spark we get. Now this is hard to see because we're fairly bright out here. Okay. Okay. What does that tell us? I don't have continuity inside. I don't have continuity across that gap that I showed you a minute ago. But electricity's going someplace, isn't it? Because otherwise, I have a much larger spark out here because I don't have continuity there. Well. And uh, I'm going to show you this in this bright sunlight. I may do it again in the dark uh, because it's easier to see. But let's look at what the normal spark on one of these would be. So you can draw this out at least three quarters of an inch. Good strong spark. That's far different, isn't it? So the electricity is going someplace here, even with an open circuit. What conclusions can I make from this? Okay, we've got a series of videos I've done here. Low voltage did not seem to pass hardly any power. When I got up to around 440 volts, it did pass some power. It seems to pass power with 10,000 volts. However, the ground seems to somehow absorb most of the power by the show of that spark. Uh, the spark being so big when it was uh, not connected up and much smaller when it was connected up. 
So I don't really know all of what's going on here, but in general, if your electricity is probably under 400 volts, it's probably not going to pass through earth ground and operate any large loads.